At iGenomics, a company specializing in reproductive genetic services, our goal is to ensure that infertility is no longer an impossible barrier. We work with more than 3,500 clinics worldwide to help people who want to start a family. The endometrium is the inner lining of the uterus and is where the embryo adheres when it begins its development. The embryo and endometrium work together in perfect synchrony, like the mechanism of a clock. There are components that determine the success of implantation and subsequent pregnancy. But if the conditions an embryo finds upon arrival are not optimal, not even the most viable embryo will be able to implant. There are important factors in the endometrium that we can analyze and, if needed, modify to improve the chance of a healthy pregnancy. 20% of infertility problems are related to the endometrial factor, which is why it's so important to know how the endometrium of each woman functions and thus personalize her treatment. We used to think that bacteria were harmful to our bodies, but now we know that some actually help us with important physiological functions. In the uterus, just like in the digestive tract, there is a complex collection of bacteria known as flora or microbiome, which directly influences the probability of successful embryo implantation. The endometrial flora is composed mainly of lactobacilli, but other types of bacteria, which are unfavorable for embryo implantation, can also be found. Endometritis is a chronic or persistent inflammation of the endometrium caused by pathogenic bacteria that affects up to 30% of women with infertility, a figure that can be as high as 66% among women with recurrent implantation failure. Most often, these women are unaware that they have chronic endometritis because the infection produces no symptoms and is not detected by a vaginal ultrasound. Furthermore, traditional diagnostic techniques may not detect it either as they can lack the ability to identify the specific pathogen that causes the infection. An altered endometrial microbiome is associated with poor reproductive outcomes, so its balance is key for embryo implantation iGenomics has developed the EMMA test, which gives a detailed view of the endometrial microbiome's composition. In addition, the EMMA test includes ALICE, which detects and diagnoses the pathogenic bacteria that most commonly cause chronic endometritis. This information will enable your physician to offer you a personalized therapy to restore an optimal microbiota. How does it work? An endometrial tissue sample is collected and analyzed. Afterwards, a report providing information on the endometrial microbiome is sent to your physician. Your physician will recommend a treatment that may include probiotic or antibiotic therapy. With Emma and Alice, alterations in the endometrial flora and chronic endometritis are no longer the silent factors that reduce the chances of pregnancy. We must give the same attention to the endometrium as we do to the ovaries or the embryos. Your endometrium will be the support for the embryo and your future pregnancy. The more your physician knows about your endometrium, the more your physician will be able to help you maximize your chances of pregnancy because your endometrium matters.